Hello all my beautiful Capricorns, welcome to Eclectic Duality. My name is Alyssa and today we're going to be doing a June forecast based around you and the person on your mind. But as usual, keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, rules can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay, there's so many amazing readers out there, one of them will resonate with you. And if you don't like the story that I tell in this reading, change the outcome. It is that simple. All right, Capricorn, I'm so sorry. I was so delayed in getting your June forecast reading out. I got sick. I am still sick. But it was really important to me to get this reading out as soon as possible. So here we go. I hope it is the reading that you guys deserve. So here we go. Capricorn. Please tell me about Capricorn and a person on your mind. Starting out the reading, we have the sun in the upright. Leo energy. Loving that. Tell me more about this. Tell me about the person on Capricorn's mind. We have the king of coins in the upright. So we have another earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus and then we have the three of wands in reverse fire sign energy Aries Leo Sagittarius okay so biggest sign that I'm seeing here is Leo but we could be dealing with someone with a lot of Leo in their chart someone with a lot of earth sign energy someone with a lot of fire sign energy so we got almost everything on the board here um, but Leo most prominently so Capricorn what can I say you and the person on your mind. Someone's making a decision. Someone's finally making a decision on what they want. And I, I feel like this person, the wait is over. Okay, the three of wands. It talks about waiting for those ships to come in. Making, having, having a couple different decisions, pretty much knowing which one you want to choose and waiting for that ship to come in but it's almost like to me the three of wands is waiting for a sign as well waiting for a sign from the universe on which which you should actually choose okay and i i feel like in this spread someone is making a concrete decision right now the wait is over and because we have the sun in the upright and the king of coins in the upright big daddy king of coins um i i would say that um this is something that's going to make both of you happy this is a decision that's going to make both of you happy it has to do with abundance and stability, building a foundation, something long lasting. So for some of you, I'm actually hearing that this person is gonna decide to be with you for the long haul. Uh, for some of you, I'm actually hearing that this person, if you're already together, is going to propose or you're gonna propose and it's gonna go well. Um, for some of you that have already been in a committed, long lasting relationship, this could be the decision to have a child you know, um, or maybe there's been a partner who has been wanting to wait and now they're finally, they're finally ready. That kind of energy. It's something to me, it's great news. And the sun there, I'm, I'm feeling that childlike energy. So, um, there could be a child who influences the situation. It could be that the person on your mind or you have children or a child. And that's been something that's kind of been in this, um, that's kind of kept this relationship from moving forward, maybe just to um, ensure the comfortability of the children, make sure that the children um, get along with the potential other parent, okay? So that that kind of thing. Tell me more about the situation between Capricorn and the person in mind. This is so positive, guys. I, I love it, I love it. I, I love being a reader in general. You know when I when I feel like I'm helping others but I I gotta tell you there's something that just feels nice when the reading comes out in a beautiful way so we have the star in reverse so Aquarius energy Hear more about the situation we have a temperance in the upright we got all kinds of major arcana here Sagittarius energy Oh, we had a card that fell out that I didn't even notice. Then we have the Seven of Wands in the upright. Some more fire sign energy. Okay, so one thing I keep hearing because of the star and temperance, 
I, I keep hearing um, December all the way up till February. There might have been something that was really important that happened between you two in that time slot of December to February. <coughs> it could be that you guys, with the star in reverse there, I feel like that might have been a struggle for you guys. Um, maybe you guys weren't connecting as well during that time period. It caused a little bit of awkwardness, a little bit of delays. I, I don't necessarily feel like there was ghosting. I'm not getting a ghosting card in particular, but I, I do feel like maybe you guys weren't connecting, um, in a very nice way. Okay. And, and I feel like this is going to be, a this is going to be welcome news. Okay, I, I feel like you guys are coming out of a really difficult time together or a strained time together. And it's it's basically what I'm hearing is it's about to go into something beautiful where both parties are syncing up again. They're fitting together the way that they that they did in the beginning, that kind of thing. Um, if you guys are in a full on relationship, it, it could be that you were really connecting with this person and then around December or so, I'm hearing that there was some kind of fallout or um, some kind of distance put in place, some kind of boundaries that um, maybe hurt a little bit. And it, I think it all comes from one person having to distance themselves because they weren't sure what they wanted. But the decisions made, um, or the decisions about to be made, and the person's going to be coming in and wanting to renew this with you. All right, so tell me about this person, how this person feels about Capricorn. We have the High Priestess in reverse, so Pisces energy. How does this person feel about my Capricorns? We have the Seven of Cups, water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Uh, the Hermit in reverse, so Virgo energy. There's so many major arcana in this spread. Like I, first of all, this is a huge, huge life change. I, I'm surprised I don't see the world card or the Wheel of Fortune because I feel like there's a huge cycle that's actually starting for you guys. I, I feel like this is actually a huge life moment, like a mile marker. Um, okay, so with the High Priestess in reverse, the Seven of Cups, and the Hermit in reverse. So this person, okay, so this person felt like they had a lot of choices or they feel like you have a lot of choices. Someone in this situation has is perceived to have, have a lot of romantic choices. Um, and, and I feel like this person couldn't come towards you until they could find out the truth of their own feelings. And I feel like, I feel like that um, time period where you guys were strained, and like I said, it doesn't have to be December to February, but I'm, that's the energy I'm getting for a lot of you. Um, so... With that, I feel like this person went into hermit mode. So when they moved back from you or distanced themselves from you, I, I feel like they weren't getting involved with other people. They weren't really connecting with anybody. <coughs> this person went into a mode of self-discovery, of shadow work, of healing, um, trying to divulge their own truths of their feelings. And this person's coming back now basically unbearing those secrets, sharing those secrets with you, and no longer wanting to be um, on their own. This is someone who's coming towards you, wanting to continue to walk this journey with you. So that's actually really beautiful, I love that. Tell me more about this person's feelings for the Capricorns. We have the Knight of Cups, water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So this person wants to extend that beautiful cup of love. We have the Knight here. So someone of action in regards to their heart chakra. Someone um, who wants to take action in regards to their feelings. So yeah, you can expect there to be some, some it's going to be genuinely sweet. I feel like however this person comes towards you 
to either make you an offer or ask you out or um, communicate their feelings in some kind of way or or tell you how much they like you or miss you. There's gonna be something about it that is just genuinely sweet. I feel like you guys are gonna melt. I really do. Like whether you're in a relationship with this person already and you guys have been together a while and you're just very comfortable with each other or um, this is something completely new, I feel like this person's gonna melt your heart. You're gonna sit there and go, oh my gosh, I love you so much. <laughs> like, I I missed you so much. I. I, I just, <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I'm loving this reading because I feel like there was a period of a lot of difficulty between you guys, and that's just going to make this reunion that much sweeter. Okay, so what are the major blockages, hurdles in this connection? All right, we're going to read little excerpts from the book here. So starting it out, we have the Cloverleaf Luck. This house relates to where you'll find luck by aligning yourself to the card in question. If you do, you will be lucky in whatever way the card dictates. And then we have 29, the Lady Intuitive. The house of the lady is the feminine house with all the stereotypes and archetypes of that image. So basically what I'm hearing is that the major blockage is that both both people, I actually feel like both people in the relationship were trying to um, harness their more masculine dynamic energy, okay? So you had basically two people wanting to take charge in the situation, who wanted to lead this situation, who wanted to... Uh, both people wanted to be the chasers is what I'm actually hearing. Um, but the thing is with with a dynamic of balance in a relationship, you want to have, and this is regardless of gender, you want to have one person who's more receptive and one person who is more forward moving. Doesn't have to be that way. Okay, there are situations where both people are dynamic and have more masculine energy and there's situations where um, both partners are more receptive and have that feminine energy. But I'm feeling like the blockage for you guys in particular is that no one was being chased. No one was being receptive and filling that kind of nurturing role. Both people wanted to be the knights. Both people wanted to be taking action towards each other, which is actually, you know, in my mind, the whole motivation behind that is very, very positive because that's obvious that both people want to be here. Both people want to build something. Both people want to make this happen. But that's why the dynamic wasn't syncing up is instead of working as a team or one person taking the lead in this relationship, you had two people who wanted to be leaders, two people who wanted to force this connection into one direction or the other. So I feel like that was the major hurdle. And basically what's going to help this situation is somebody, like I said, either both of you decide to work together completely as, you know, equal um, leaders in this situation, but you guys still make compromises on every decision, or you you let them or they let you take the lead. So there'd be one person who actually takes the lead a little bit more in this situation in the direction it's going. That's interesting, guys. That's an interesting little bit there. All right, what are the positive things that the universe is bringing into this connection? Oh, we had a few cards. Okay, so we have Eagle Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Ooh, there was another card. We have Goose, Inner Knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Then we have B, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. 
dog, friend. Today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and a friend. And then we have a lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, I think it's important that up on the top, we have three flying creatures, okay? I, I feel like this talks about flexibility, going with the flow, being able to go with the wind, as you would say. Um, but also it's about soaring up above high enough to where you can see the full picture of what's happening. So I, I feel like what the universe is bringing is it's going to be bringing adaptability. It's going to be bringing in flexibility, but it's also going to give you a more keener eye of what the actual meaning behind this situation or this conflict was and what it taught you and what it's teaching that other person. So it's going to give you more clarity, more understanding on why things had to happen the way they were. Now, just a side thing I'm hearing, and this might be a synchronicity for some of you, I just heard that some of you might be, um, might have been born in the year of the dog uh, in Chinese astrology, you might be uh, born on a dog year. I, I don't know why I'm hearing that specifically, but I'm also hearing some of you might have been born on the year of the dragon. So those are just two things. Very, very, I don't even know why I felt like I had to say something, but um, there's that. That might be some confirmation for you that this is your story very possibly, might not, I don't know. Um, but I'm basically hearing that, you know, What's interesting with the dog here is I, I, I'm i hearing that not only are you guys going to become even more loyal to each other and to this connection and to yourself, but I actually feel that you're going to get a lot of help from your friends and they're going to get a lot of help from their friends. I feel like your friends are actually going to help um, create this bit of a cushion around your relationship. It's almost like this barrier... <laughs> against the outside world, things that might have been affecting this connection in the past. Um, it's basically going to put you guys in this little bit of a cocoon to develop this relationship. I really feel like your friends are going to be amazing. Amazing in helping this relationship evolve. They're going to be supportive of it. They're going to be hyping you up. Their friends are going to be hyping them up. You know, all of that. It's, I feel like you're going to get a lot of help from your soul tribe and your friends and maybe even your family in this situation. Um, yeah, I feel like with this lizard regeneration, it's basically saying that when this person disconnected or you disconnected or, or this just this relationship wasn't coming together it kind of felt like one of you got a or both of you got your got a limb cut off where you know the whole phantom limb thing where someone loses a limb but they still like feel sensation where their limb was supposed to be like they feel a phantom itch or, or something like that it just because the body misses that limb so much and is so used to that limb being there that when it's not you know you get this odd feeling of sensation where there is nothing and I feel like that might be something that you went through with this person you know kind of that phantom itch thing of gosh where are they and it just would bother you it would just bother you and I feel like it would just bother them and I feel like basically when you guys are coming back together it's kind of like that limb regrowing <clears throat> that limb regrowing fresh and new and and ready to start again so that's really beautiful all right let's get some advice from my capricorns about this situation advice from my capricorns We have diving to new depths. There is a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you're feeling about your current situation. So kind of, a, it's kind of that same, even though this is about going down into the depths of the ocean, into the depths of your feeling, into the depths of your soul, doing that shadow work, that kind of energy. I also feel like it's linked to, you know, what I talked about with the flying creatures before, being able to see the entirety of the picture. But this is like, 
the perfect balance of seeing what's going on externally and then seeing what's going on internally. So as above, so below, that kind of energy. Then we have where you need to be. Acknowledge how you are feeling. Have faith that the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. That's a beautiful. <coughs> so basically, if you haven't come together with this person yet, um, it's basically saying don't worry because there is going to be a positive outcome here. Things are going to happen the way they're supposed to be. You're being supported. Um, both of you are going to be better for this separation is what I'm hearing. And the advice here, if you're already together, is to keep the positivity and know that regardless of what's happened in the past, it only made you guys stronger, okay? All right, Capricorn. So we're at the yes, no, maybe portion of the reading. So I want you guys to think of three questions that would require a yes, no, maybe answer. I will pull your card. It will be a straight up yes, no, maybe with very little clarification unless I feel guided to do so. So take the answers as you will. So think of that first question that would require a yes, no, maybe answer. We have the King of Diamonds. Provide stability to yourself and others. Stay strong in your masculine power. <coughs> Let's get a clarify there. You can be a yes or no maybe to the first question of my Capricorns. And we have the Four of Hearts. This is a gift. Be willing to receive it maybe if you are open to receive. So that is a yes if you make room and are willing to put in the work. A no if you don't want to make room and don't want to put in the work, okay? Or aren't willing to put in the work. So think of that second question that would require a yes, no, maybe answer. We had two cards come out here. First one is the King of or king, the queen of clubs, your passion and fire is beautiful, own it. And then we have the six of clubs, enjoy this victory, gorgeous, you deserve it, hell yeah. So very, very positive answer for you guys, very positive yes. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, you might be like, but I wanted to hear no, so how is this positive? Um, so basically what I'm hearing is whatever you guys are wanting in this situation, it's a hell yeah, because we had the Six of Wands in particular coming out of victory. So what you wanted, the battle you've been fighting, you're going to accomplish it, you're going to win, okay. All right, so think of that third question that would require a yes, no, maybe answer. And we have Joker, it's all about choices. The amount of time is up to you. You are heading in the right direction. Okay, so I feel like you guys asked me um, if you were heading in the right direction in the situation or if you're making the right decision, that kind of thing. Um, doesn't have to be, but either way, I'm hearing that whatever direction you guys are being guided right now, whatever your gut is telling you to do, that is the right direction. So um, this situation, whether it's a yes or no, is completely up to you. This is one of those situations where you are the magician. You get to make kind of the next step happen for you. All right, Capricorns, I am going to leave it there. If you got to the end of this reading, please leave a Capricorn or go emoji in the comments. If you are a cross watcher, please leave your side in the comments so I know where all my cross watchers are at. And as usual, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe down below, join the family. But if this is where I leave you, I love you guys so much and take care.